Okay, guys, I've had a few people ask about where I build at, and I had a couple of comments about uh, what you need to have on hand uh, when your kit gets here. So I just had a little time here and thought I'd shoot a quick video. Be boring for most of you, but this is my build room. I'm, I'm in a 60 foot wide barn here, and uh, we just we had about I think three days warning before our kit came. So we went to town and we really, we wasn't expecting it to come as quick as it did. We went to town and bought one bundle of the half inch aluminum foil uh, covered insulation because I wanted to have a place you could work inside. And uh, the size of it is it's nine sheets wide, so nine fours, that'd be 36 feet. It's 36 feet long. And it's 24 foot deep, I guess you will, from here to the back wall. Uh, I think I can show you the top side. It's very simple. Climb up here with one hand. Up here. As you can see, the we just dropped four boards down from the rafters there to hold the ceiling up, and we got 12 foot two by fours. Ran to the center, the center board, of course, attached to the uprights, and then we ran uh, two every four foot. We ran ran the two befores uh, crossways and attached to that. So it's a, it's just a temporary building, but I wanted one good enough I could heat and cool it okay, and it has worked very well for that. So a 24 by 36, is that big enough? Well, I thought it'd be worlds of big, and it is big enough. I mean, I watch these guys building their garage, and I tell you what, I don't see how they do it. I have, as you can see, about four foot on this end from the wing tip to the wall. Of course, the wing tip's not on there, so the wing tip is another probably 12 inches gonna stick out of there. Uh, I have, that by the time I get my prop and the spinner, the spinners are long on the electric. The spinner will probably be to here, so I'll be within a foot of that end. And this end, I don't know if I've even got enough. I just barely got enough room. Yeah, I've got a good foot there to put the wing tip on. So, I mean, I haven't had any trouble building in here, but uh, when you got everything uh, set up and out, I still have room back, but you got to be able to walk around the thing. So uh, I'd like to have the tail on here. As you notice, the tail is still hanging on the wall over here. Well, I built this fine bench here. Afterthought, I need a bench, so I throw the bench up. Well, the plane was piled up all over the shop the other direction. It wasn't a problem. <laughs> now, if I put the tail on there, I won't be able to walk between the tail and this little space left so I've got to tear this thing out I'm not done using the grinder and the sander so that hasn't been done yet so you need to pay a little attention while you're doing things things you need to do before your kit gets here that's a tough one um, things you need to buy covering you know there's no there's no real hurry I know it's exciting when you're when your kit's coming, uh, but as far as like your covering stuff, your irons, iron your heat guns, uh, you know, no need in having them set around, you know, for a year. You've got plenty of time to get those. Uh, you definitely need to build a set of the uh, wing rigs here. I've got this took apart because we've been using it for other things. But. I went to Harbor Freight, as you can see down here. Harbor Freight have these moving dollies. 
for $7.99. You get four wheels, good, good wheels. Uh, you get four of those, and you get some hardwood. If you see, I've got a piece of hardwood top and bottom, uh, tying the two before on. But you get all your parts you need, except, you know, a little bit of two before and a little bit of plywood here I put on the back. You get everything for that $7.99, so uh, makes for a pretty cheap wing hanger. You do need these, I think. I mean, I did not have them. We just set the wings down against the wall and we hauled them in, but it'd been better if I could have just hung them from the beginning. You're on wheels, you can move them wherever they need to be, especially working in a garage. Uh, you guys are in really tight areas. But uh, you definitely need to build yourself a set of those. Uh, get the builder's tool kit. It's a little pricey for what you get, but you get most things you need. You get your swedge, you know, for for swedging the cables, uh, swedging the cable locks on here. I did not use it. I bought one. They're not. They're not real expensive, and they, these work really, really good. I bought one, uh, you know, I bought the, the lever type. I mean, these are better, but whether they make any better crimps or not, I don't know about that. But, uh, I bought them used. I think they're about 100 bucks. You know, I'm going to sell it probably back on the same place I got it for about 100 bucks. So, I mean, it's just a... I don't need them anymore. I've still got the swedge kit that comes with your tool kit. But the tool kit, there's several things you don't need in it, but there's several things, all the drill bits, long bits and stuff you do need come with it. So I would definitely, I think it's a good investment. Uh, hard for me to really think. I'm... Uh, 17 months into the build I think I need about a month to finish up So whenever harvest gets over hopefully We'll see how that goes uh, Oh everybody wants to buy their glue, you know, of course definitely don't do that uh, this glue don't last very long, especially, especially the uh, filler glue that you have to have quite a bit of, the super fill. Uh, I bought these, bought these I guess about the time I got my kit and uh, used maybe half of it and then it went bad or started going bad. So I bought another set and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get finished on the second batch. Uh, this glue, this has like a three-month shelf life, if you're lucky when you get it. So you definitely don't want to buy your Ortex glue until you are ready to use it because it does not keep well. Now, you can keep using it. They have tests. This is still good. This glue's well past date. Now, they have, they have a test that you use to test the glue and uh, I just used some the other day it works fine but you just will wait and get your glue uh, or work a deal out you'll go ahead and pay for it when you buy the whole kit but have them not ship out your glue ship it from Alaska whenever you're ready for it so you don't have old glue because you, sh you don't need uh, the Ortex. Ortex comes pretty fast I don't think I've heard any, anybody have any trouble getting it. What other tools? Of course, you got to have. You got to have a vise. I highly recommend getting a sander. Uh, heat gun there again. You got to have one for covering. Uh, any kind of shrink. Definitely get you a 3M grinding wheel for your grinder. Uh, Daryl Watson sent me this one, uh, one he'd used and bought a new one. And it is just 
I'd never used one before, but man, if you're grinding aluminum, you definitely want to get a 3M aluminum grinding wheel because it just makes it look like glass when you're done. It sands aluminum so nice. Now, you can't, you eat it up trying to use it on steel. It will grind steel, but you eat your wheel up pretty fast. But I highly recommend one of them. Uh, of course, your building place in general. I mean, we built this in three afternoons, I think. Me and Susan and the boys. Uh, of course, there's not much holding it up. I mean, it's just got a few screws and washers and like I said, the two before zero over four foot the sheets are eight foot, so you don't want to walk around up there. <laughs> but it keeps the wind out, and it's easy to heat and cool. Shelving was highly recommended. I built shelving. We had a quite a bit of lumber left over from years ago when we built the house, been stored forever. So we didn't really buy much lumber. We did buy a few pieces of piece of plywood, maybe two, to make the shelves, but. You can't have too many shells. I mean, you you won't believe the amount of parts that you're going to unload. It's real exciting to order a kit, be waiting on the kit. When you get the kit, the excitement kind of leaves when you take inventory. You think, oh my land, what have I got myself into? <laughs> uh, this is the inventory book. You go through every box, uh, every part. You have to inventory to make sure you got it just page after page after page and box after box after box so it's uh that's about the time you think what have i got myself into <laughs> and it is a job i ain't gonna kid anybody but there's no I, I mean maybe someone just loves doing it but it is a job uh benches yeah you can see how neat my benches are I give like five dollars a piece for these. At, I don't know, cold, cold. I don't. Somebody was going out of business in the mall. And they had these. They are heavy duty. And they made a really nice bench, but uh, I can't keep the junk off of it. And then after we got done with these ring, wing rotisseries here, we put two befores on them and joined them together, and made a full table out of it. Of course, we needed it for covering the wings and fuselage we could put our covering lay it out up here on top to put the glue on and such as that that worked real well and of course now it's a catch-all everything that comes in the door gets thrown up there so i'm not the neatest builder around <laughs> but there's just a lot of a lot of stuff that uh, but as far as what you need I think those few items there will get you started, mainly get your place ready. Uh, when it gets close to kit time, you know, when you get within a month of kit time, you get that garage cleaned out or, or barn or wherever you're going to be building at, uh, get her cleaned out or get her ready to go because there's a lot of stuff. A lot of people, when they're doing the inventory, will lay their parts in some kind of system uh, I did not <laughs> probably should have that's most aggravating part of my early build was finding parts and uh, some of the like I say some of the better builders they they had a system where they laid all the parts out and was supposedly easy to find I don't know their system because I never had an easy time finding parts Susan uh, would come out here with me when we first started and I'd put her a page ahead of whatever I was working on, and she would go run down the parts. She would get my pile of parts together for tomorrow, tomorrow night when we worked. So that worked really well. If you got a wife and kids that will help you, it's a whole lot better job. So that's about all I got for not a lot of help to you guys, I know. Uh, a lot of you guys will add in the comments you guys have built put down below things the new builders need to get because i mean i'm i don't i can't think of everything 
So go ahead and add to the comments and, and uh, help these guys out. I have a little brain dead after 17 months of kind of remembering. There's so much that goes on. A lot of kits being sewed. I mean, they're two and a half years out now when you buy a kit. So uh, there's a lot of a lot of builders going to be building. 40 a month, I think they're putting out. So there's a lot of kits being pumped out the door. So maybe it'll help everybody get ready. Well, Duke, I'm done. God bless you and take care.